Have you ever wondered why a rubber duck floats while a rock sinks in water? It's all about a fascinating tug of war that happens beneath the surface. Two main forces are at play weight due to force of gravity and up thrust. Weight is the force pulling an object downwards due to gravity. Up thrust on the other hand is a force pushing the object upwards. Imagine trying to push a beach ball down into water. It fights back, doesn't it? That's up thrust in action. The water pushes back on the ball, trying to push it up. The amount of up thrust an object experiences depends on its size and how much water it pushes aside. The bigger the object, the more water it pushes aside, and the greater the up thrust. It's like the water is saying, hey, you're taking up my space. Archimedes' principle helps us determine if an object will float or sink by comparing its weight to the weight of the water it displaces. Remember the tug of war between weight and upthrust? If an object's weight is greater than the upthrust, the weight of the water it displaces, it sinks. If the upthrust is greater than the object's weight, it floats. Let's visualize this with force diagrams. Imagine a heavy metal ball and a light wooden ball of the same size. Both balls displace the same amount of water because they have the same volume. However, the metal ball is denser meaning it has more mass packed into the same space. Since the metal ball is heavier its weight is greater than the upthrust and it sinks. The wooden ball, being lighter, experiences an upthrust greater than its weight, causing it to float. The key takeaway is that an object less dense than water will float, while an object denser than water will sink. But wait, there's more to the story. The shape of an object also plays a role in its buoyancy. Think about a sheet of aluminium foil. If you crumple it into a tight ball, it will likely sink. But if you carefully shape it into a boat, it can float. That's because the boat shape displaces more water, increasing the upthrust. The same amount of aluminium can float or sink depending on its shape and how much water it displaces. This is why massive ships made of steel can float. They are designed to displace a huge amount of water, creating enough upthrust to counteract their weight. So, next time you're in the bathtub or at the pool, try experimenting with different objects and shapes. See if you can make them float or sink and observe how changing their shape affects their buoyancy. Science is all around us waiting to be explored.